So we've got as far as... What did we do? What did we do last time? Oh yeah, we mapped our network. We've got our plan laid out. Because we're using a Ubiquiti USG, which is a Unify Security Gateway, this little guy, because we're using one of these, we need to set up a cloud controller. There's a couple of ways to do this. We're going to use our trusty Proxmox server. You could also do this pretty easily with a cloud key, which is another hardware device that essentially is runs on Android and it looks like a giant USB stick or maybe uh, what are those the uh, Android Fire TV sticks. But it's got a power over Ethernet input to it and you plug it into your network and then you manage it from there. We're going to build it from scratch, but we're going to build it on a Linux container. So not an Ubuntu desktop or an Ubuntu server. We're going to use an LXC. <laughs> So what does the cloud controller even do? Well, all of the Ubiquiti equipment is managed through a central dashboard that's provided from the cloud controller. Some of the newer devices that's web-based, it all lives in the cloud somewhere. Everything's managed through a central dashboard up in the cloud and a URL through a browser. Here, same thing, but the controller lives in inside the network and you point to it either from outside or within the network to get to your dashboard your, sh your single pane of glass so you could do this a couple of ways you could just use a plain old desktop and install unify cloud controller on windows or linux on a you know just a generic desktop when you got laying around or something like like one of these guys little micro form factor optiplex desktop or lenovo mini or whatever HP calls it. But since we got a server, we're gonna install it in Proxmox. And here's how you do that. So here we are in Frosty, our uh, Ryzen server. You can see right here, Unify, that's what we're gonna be building. So we're actually gonna go through and remove that now so that we can build it from scratch together. So first things first, you're going to need an Ubuntu uh, template for your container, your LXC. You can do that by going to any of the volumes where you store your Linux templates. You can go to templates and Ubuntu and download any of them. Uh, I think 2204, 2004 and 1804 are confirmed compatible. I don't know about 2304, that's not one of the LTSC versions, long-term service channel versions. So I've got 2204, which I know works. So we'll go back to Frosty. Click Create CT. Uh, we're gonna do this one at 103. Name it the same as it was before. We do wanna go ahead and make this a privileged container. So we'll uncheck unprivileged container. Put in your super secret password twice. Let's see, the template is here. We'll do the Ubuntu template. 20 gigs is more than enough. You know, it depends on how many devices you're gonna be adopting into your controller. The good thing is you can always expand your storage and your compute and stuff later. If you use a VM, if you're gonna use just a plain old desktop, pretty much any modern processor will work, everything from i3 on up. So we move forward, we're gonna do one CPU, we'll do uh, two gigs of RAM, no swap. Network, we're gonna make this slash 24 and oh, the gateway. Now, this is kind of funny because technically the controller is going to be outside of the IP range for the firewall once I build it. So I'm gonna to have to eventually reconfigure the IP address for the cloud controller. It's gonna be weird. I gotta figure out how to do that. Re-IPing it is fine. It'll be here, but mm, I don't know if the cloud controller is gonna live in the DMZ or not. We'll figure that part out when we get to it. Use host settings for DNS and we're gonna confirm. Done. Cool. Now we just wait for it to finish populating and there she is. We'll go ahead and hit console. Well, we'll start it first. Let it start up, console in. Um, your username is always root and your super secret password you created and we're in. I'm gonna be using an installation script that I found in the Ubiquity community page. It's a little bit older, but it works great. Hosted five years ago. This is the installation script, Unify Easy Update Script. So we'll go through this together and I'll show you how to do all of this. Again, links will be 
down in the description. First things first, back to our console. We're going to do an update and upgrade as you always do with uh, any new Linux VM and an upgrade. This will take a little bit, so we'll be right back. Tequila. And we're done. So we've got our update, we've got our upgrade. Now we need to get a uh, certificate. Uh, so wget is already the newest version, great. Now we're at the command where we can download the script for the specific version of the cloud controller. Version that's on the instructions on the site is 6.5. And if you go to, you go to here to software downloads, we can see the newest version as of recording is 7.5.174. So within the script, we're gonna copy the script, go back to our terminal and paste it. And at the end, uh, it was what? What was the version? Let's see. Go back and delete all the way to here. 7.5.174. And there we are, maybe, boom. It's downloading the script now. And as of right now, this is working. Hopefully it'll stay up for ever and ever, amen? I don't know, but it goes to that specific URL to find this script to download, git.glenner.nl. Then we come back and we run the bash script, but we're gonna have to run 7.5.174. Because that's the version we downloaded. And we sit back and wait for this to do its thing now. You, you'll have to hit enter a few times. Anyway, we'll let this do its installation and we'll come back when this is all completed. Eventually. And there we are. Now, in our regular browser, we are going to go to the IP of the VM, which is 10.0.0.103. Hey, now, forgot a dot. Dot 103 and then port 8443, HTTPS, that's right. You're gonna get this the first time, connection's not private, just hit advanced and then continue through. Our uh, cloud controller's installed and now we're going to continue through the setup process for the application side. So our server name is gonna be Geek Squad, I will agree to the T's and C's. You can do this a couple of ways now. If you have a UI account you, or you wanna create one, you can do that here. Or if you go into advanced setup, this is where you would create account. You could hit skip and create local credentials. I'm actually gonna go back and create a UI account. Create a new account. So you go in and create an account. Email has been sent to verify. Save that, we'll go to our Gmail, verify the email address, uh, and now we can set up two-factor authentication. You can use the UI Verify app, essentially a two-factor application that's specific to Ubiquity. Email authentication, app authentication, which is what I'm gonna use with uh, my Google Authenticator because that's what I use for most things. There we go. Email backup authentication added. Authenticator app added to MFA methods. So now we get to go to back to sign up here to FA, which is good. It's good that it asks it. There we are now in our Unify cloud controller on Proxmox Linux container. This is where uh, our primary dashboard is going to be where when we adopt our new devices, our access points, our switches, our security gateways, cameras, all those things, they're all going to be seen right here on a single pane of glass. Uh, so our Unify devices, um, Ubiquity makes it pretty easy that basically as soon as you plug in a device, it will call home within the network. And if it sees a cloud controller like that, it will be added to it. It'll ask to add to it. They'll do their little secret handshake thing, and then it'll get added to the controller. So you can see it within your dashboard. Your system logs, any updates that are needed, admin activities, access points, push notification settings, and settings themselves. 
let's do a dark mode. Much more better. Um, and we can set up multi-site management. So if we have a multi-tenant environment or multiple locations. So for example, if I were to set this up at my parents' house, I could manage it from my dashboard to help them make sure everything just runs smoothly and stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, this is where we would do backups. We would set up auto backups, automated backups are stored locally and not synced to your UI account, which means they would be on the server. Administration, advanced go through all those settings. Once we get our switch, or in our case, our security gateway adopted to the network, we'll be able to go in here and create our VLANs and really separate and segregate our ne network to make sure that it's set up the way we want it to be. Our Wi-Fi, we have to have an access point connected in order to utilize that. Internet, gateways required to implement these configurations. So really from here, we need to go ahead and get this bad boy adopted. So that's what we're gonna do. If you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and hit that like button if you learned something today. And if this is the kind of content that you enjoy, consider subscribing for more videos like it. And of course, thanks for watching.